Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Uh, what I was going to do with the blue coins was I was going to save them all up and then go to this guy to trade him in for 24 shine sprites at once. Yeah, there's 240 blue coins in the game, but I decided not to for the sake of editing because it makes numbering these coins a lot easier when they're pretty much numbered as I go, you know, by the uh, system itself as I collect one at a time. So, uh, yeah, every... 10 blue coins, you get one shine sprite. So let's trade them in and get three shine sprites. Woo! That puts us up to 42. And for some reason, it puts us all the way back over to where you start from in Delfino Plaza. I don't know why they don't just, you know, leave you off right there inside that cabin. But whatever, they just have to reload the whole thing. <laughs> I cannot explain it. Also, why doesn't that guy just give me the shine sprites? Doesn't he want to save the place where his shop is anyway? Ugh. Well, I suppose he has to trade, you know, something for blue coins. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. Anyway, we're going back to Rico Harbor to, to finally do episode 8. As I said, I needed something for it. And that something is Yoshi. Now that I have Yoshi, I can do it. Woo! So, let's get it started. Uh, this one's pretty tricky, actually, the original way that they want you to do this. But I'm probably not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it my own way. Um, someone mentioned earlier that you can use the sewer system to also get all the way up on top of there rather than using the uh, wall jump shortcut method that I did. Just go straight along here. There shouldn't be any blue coins to accidentally collect just yet. So just go all the way up to here and boop! There you go. And now you're all the way up here. Now, you'll notice that there's a Yoshi over here. It'll always want a durian. So, go up to these fruits, tower, thingies, whatever. Who who builds towers like this to house fruits? I mean, normally they come in, like, baskets or something like that, but a tower of fruit? It's like a water tower of fruit of some sort. Anyway, go up here and ground pound these things on top of here until you get a durian. This could actually take a while since it's completely randomized. Like, see, I got a coconut, then I got a banana, and you can only have three fruit out there at the same time. Oh, there's my durian! Also, sometimes that durian will fall right off the cliff and into the water, which really sucks. Anyway, carefully kick the durian over to your ride, and there we go, it makes him very happy. Okay, now this is what you have to do. You need this purple Yoshi to transform these fish into platforms. Depending on the color of the juice your Yoshi spews out, and the color of the Yoshi itself, of course, um, you'll get a different result out of your platform. Like this one, when you make a purple platform, it'll be a jiggly one that moves forward. Now, what you're supposed to do over here is, once you get over to that platform, you're supposed to go over to that palm tree and get a coconut to change Yoshi pink. Which, well, I guess I could I guess I could do it the normal way. This isn't how I normally do it. I usually just spin jump my way all the way through here. But I'll just try it the normal way for the heck of it. But otherwise you can just simply spin jump your Yoshi all the way up there, uh, just using these platforms as you go. Now spew juice on the fish and go No 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 no! Crap! Obviously, you can't fall off because you lose your Yoshi in the water. So, I gotta get back up there. Crap! Went right off the cliff. And we're back over here. Okay, let's try and do it the normal way again. Just for the heck of it, as I said, because I haven't done it the normal way in the longest time. So, let's just grab that and hop over to this platform. And I want to get, I want to try and get the fish transformed into a platform at the lowest point so I can jump on it this time. And the pink platform will move upwards like this. And that's how you get all the way up there to that cage. That's your, oh, I, I must have accidentally sprayed a fish over here. Well, that's convenient of it. Awesome! And I'm pretty sure I can just spray this fish to get up there. There we go. Now let's see if it, I can ride this all the way up. I certainly hope I can, I'm pretty sure I can. Yep, here we go. And now I'm going to show you a little glitch here for the fun of it. First, clear out this weird force field stuff with your vomit. 
and then climb up here with Yoshi. Now what you want to do is jump off of Yoshi, like, off to the side there, and then ground pound the pan- Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot, well, if you get Yoshi to not fall into the cage, he'll actually, like, do little- I don't know, he's, like, jumping weird, like, he'll- stutter up and down on top of the cage like he's he's standing in place but yet he's sinking or something like that it's really weird but anyway grab your shine that's it let's go to the next one okay the next one you want to go to is the tower the secret of rico tower um, there is, of course, as usual, a red coin challenge inside these special stages. I'm gonna try for the fun of it, trying to get into there with the hover nozzle. I should be able to do it from up on top of that scaffolding. So, let's just give that a try, because I really don't want the rocket nozzle in this place. So, yeah, that's why I'm gonna give this a shot. Hey, 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 hey. come on, Mario, work with me. Thank you, and... What the heck? Please, Mario, work with me, I said. Okay, now up here, I'm going to jump up to here. And I should... Yeah, I can get up to... And I want that candy cane. No Christmas for you, mister. Okay, I guess it is pretty easy to get up here without the rocket nozzle. And that's definitely the easiest way to get in there, too. Should have just did that on my first run through this stage. Huh, oh well. So, there's a red switch. You know what has to happen here. Ground pound, and let's get this started. First red coin you've seen appeared right off to the right there. This is a lot easier to do with the hover nozzle than uh, without the hover nozzle, but it's still not all that hard to do without the hover nozzle. I mean, traversing these spinning wood platform things. So, let's just go along here. Don't ever stop moving, because, you know, there's a time limit and all. Gotta always follow that, or adhere to that time limit, I should say. So now you gotta go up here, wall kick, and there's a coin there, there's a coin there, and mm, that one's gonna be in there by the time I get to it, isn't it? Ah, eh, oh, I was so close there. This one gives you plenty of time to get them anyway, especially since you've got your hover nozzle. So don't be afraid to burn a little bit of time, especially, you know, since you have to collect the coins anyway. So, there we go, and now let's get on to this platform, because that is our progress. Carefully go across, yeah, I can see all three coins from here, and as you'll also see, I, I've got a whopping 24 seconds to get them, too, so this won't be hard at all to finish this, unless I really bungle it up. And there is seven... 11 seconds left to get this coin. Oh, come on. This is going to be easy. <laughs> I just have to... There we go. And that'll also stop the clock as well, so I'll be able to get that shine sprite easily. And... No, 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 no. Don't you dare turn around. I got a little disoriented there because of the camera and all. And... I should just be able to hover right over there and collect the shine. You! The next and last shine I'll be doing in this part is in Episode 2, the Blooper Surfing Safari. That race that I did before, yep, it's got a shine, if you don't remember. Uh, just gotta get to the finish line in under 40 seconds, and you'll get your shine. That's not at... I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. That's not hard at all to do. Why am I stuck on that wood? Ah, curse those logs. So I'm just gonna stick with the yellow one as I did before, and... Just take a nice, easy path over to that opening at the side of the... I was gonna... I guess you could just call it a cave. I was gonna call it the side of a mountain, but it's clear that this was built, you know... This is man-made over here. So what would you call that, anyway? Whoa, that was weird. I just hit the wall and fell off the blooper and survived. Huh. Well, I guess it's because I went through that portal or whatever you want to call it. So, here we go. 40 seconds. Gotta do it. Must do it. Must win. So... You obviously, to get the lowest time you possibly can, you want to take the inside routes, you know, stay as close to the corners as you possibly can, without hitting stuff, of course, so be careful of that, and don't hit those, of course, as well, and, of course, not the blocks either. Now, over here, always, always jump the wall, always jump before you touch land, otherwise you won't be able to jump, 
and as long as you get over the top of it, you'll be perfectly safe, and you'll also get to the goal easily in under 40 seconds. And there is the shine! So let's collect it and this part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one, when I'm gonna go do the blue coins and gold coins, well, 100 gold coins of Rico Harbor. See you then! Woo! Bonus content! I have decided to show off this glitch after all. Come on, Yoshi, get up there, please. Thank you. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna try putting Yoshi on the middle this time and ground pound the corner. Now watch. Look at Yoshi. Isn't that weird? Why does that happen? And it can do that consistently, too, I guess, because I flipped him in the corner and not the center, and I usually do it the other way around. That's, uh, that's probably what I remembered before, and that's why I failed to do the glitch before. But anyway, yeah, that's the glitch. Look at that. See that? It looks like he's standing in place, and then he's, like, sinking down, and then he juts, you know, up off the platform, and oh, whatever. Well, you've seen the glitch. Now I hope you enjoyed. See you later.